abadala bathi ikati lilala eziku mina ngazalwa livele lilala eziku kwethu lanamhlanje lisalala eziku akukho siphetho eduzane such is the level of poverty in my family our wallowing in poverty did not mean my parents were lazy our wallowing in poverty did not mean they did not want to fend for their children our wallowing in poverty simply meant that they didn't seem to get out of poverty by working hard which in itself was defeating enough our wallowing in poverty was but just a lack and not due to my parents stupidity so is the nature of poverty in many african households today we had a roof over our heads in the form of a shack the famous four-room shack which brought together relatives who were migrating from rural to urban areas in search of opportunities with everyone scraping for the bare minimum in this shack it represented the spirit of umfelanda wonye wama africa i have memories of a leaking roof accompanied by a rush for containers to catch the water from flooding the shack each time the heavens opened i have good memories of the green sofa which has been there since i was born this valued possession has outlived three generations of ancestors yet it still dignifies our home i have good memories of the pre-used black and white television set which was acquired when i was in my teens with a deafening background noise and showers on the screen it was a welcome relief from having to pay visits to our neighbors every evening just to watch the television such was the level of poverty in my family many at times i went to bed hungry as a child so hungry that god could not appear to me in any form except through a plate of thick meal porridge with water for relish at times the lemon tree in my yard was the go to place in terms of meat the lemon fruit bitter as it is would be the source of lemon juice and would also spice up the morning plate of meal porridge the excitement of seeing food at functions which was hardly available at home had us denigrated chastised and humiliated many a times i suffered the humiliation of being sent from school for non-payment of fees a school i accessed barefoot for that matter my feet only knew shoes on special occasions such as weddings and community gatherings many a times i suffered the humiliation of being in torn clothes the only time i got a new dress was for christmas celebrations each year my sunday best dress was kept in the trunk and released for church on sundays many a times i would come home from school to find the municipality had cut off the water and electricity for non-payment so was the true reality of a life of poverty in my family poverty was the cause of every other pain in my family physical pain that came with little food save for a sack of mealy meal in the kitchen cupboard physical pain that came with my parents working for long hours for a pittance physical pain that came from being economically insecure and not knowing where the next meal would come from emotional pain that emanated from the humiliation of being dependent on others with neighbors closing their doors at the sight of you approaching because they think you are coming to borrow another cup of sugar and a pinch of salt moral pain from being forced to make a choice on whether to steal murder or hate others for just a morsel of bread moral pain on whether to give up give up that last cup of flour to a neighbor whose child has collapsed from hunger and believe yours will survive for the day woman would became a burden to me in my poverty discarded clothing became a constant friend in the sacred times of the man how i wish for someone to just provide me with the basic necessities to cover my shame what is meant to be a proud moment of womanhood was turned into shameful debilitating experiences for me so is the nature of poverty i looked up to the heaven every day and paid prayed for a miracle